Right now at 11 o'clock, frustrated business owners in downtown Indianapolis call out Mayor Joe Hogsett and other city leaders. Those business owners insist they have not heard from the mayor or his team since the violent rioting and looting over the last weekend in May. Thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Debbie Knox. And I'm Bob Donaldson. As CBS 4's Courtney Crown reports, these business owners want to know if the city is prepared in case it ever happens again. The bottom line is we just you know need to know that this is not going to be allowed to happen again. I'm very, very upset about this whole situation. This should never have happened. Boards still cover the businesses owned by Greg Byers and Chris Carnivus. It's been this way since the last weekend of May when vandalism and looting erupted in downtown Indianapolis amid peaceful protests. We just need direction and we need to know how the city is going to prepare and what the city's plan are, plans are in case an event like this happens again. I requested an interview with the mayor early this afternoon. His office sent this statement. The mayor's office has been in continued contact with downtown establishments and associations throughout the past several months. We are working to maintain lines of communication with businesses on reopening from both the pandemic and property damage, while also supporting advocacy organizations, including Downtown Indy, seeking to assist businesses during this time. No, it's an absolute lie. The mayor's office is lying. There's been no contact with the with the mayor. There's been no contact from his office, nothing. Another big question surrounds IMPD's response that weekend. During a public safety meeting earlier this month, IMPD said Deputy Mayor David Hampton, in conjunction with protest organizers, asked IMPD to step back. IMPD did until the destruction started, but by then they weren't in a position to respond immediately. The crowd started to grow. And it was infiltrated with people that may have come down there with a mindset that's not uh, the same as these protesters. I lived it from the very beginning. Carnivus says the blame lands on the mayor's office for the destruction to his store. He wants to push it off onto, onto the police department. Well, he's the head guy. The buck stops at his desk. He's the one that told them to stand down. As business owners demand a plan from the city to ensure doors and windows will never need to be boarded up again, they add this message. It's really important that everybody in the community knows that a lot of businesses like myself, not just me, but there's multiple businesses downtown that are really suffering now. and. We need support. In downtown, Courtney Crown, CBS 4 News.